As far as the dangers, I mean, it's hard to know what's going to happen. Um, sometimes you have this excellent plan, you have everything lined out, you think you have all the variables accounted for, but then there's just that one thing that you didn't account for, and that can result in um, a mishap, a near, mis a near mishap, or just, some, just something, you know, scary. So it's, I think it's really hard to say that you're good at the job. I think you're, you're luckier more times than not, or you had a 90% 90, 90 solution um, the majority of the time. In the event of a mishap, the foreman should not approach the site until an EOD technician is cleared of any remaining hazards. Hazard Control Alpha. So uh, explosive ordnance disposal, their role is the preservation of personnel and property. So we serve as a bulwark, as a, a defenders and guardians of our fellow Marines uh, by reducing um, explosive hazards, essentially. So we're the shield, basically. If you look at the EOD insignia, you'll have a bomb, a wreath, thunderbolts and a shield and the most important part to that to me is the shield. I feel like I'm the shield between um, 30 seconds. explosive hazards and and UXO and felt my fellow Marines. <laughs> On day-to-day -day operations during training you can get seriously injured. So you have to consider all the risks, and that's basically what our job is. It's uh, risk mitigation. Then we all have to rise to the occasion and kind of uh, get our heads straight. Are you you got all the cats? We are in the yeah. impact area. How copy? Yeah. Well, we'll let you know when the first detonations occur. Um, well, gents? Yeah. <laughs> you want the sex? Moving! 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 We've been finding a lot of uh, rockets here. Oh! Oh! oh. Let's take, just take an ordinance item, uh, for example, a piece of UXO. All right. So, although the publication may tell us, hey, you need to do steps A, B, and C to render this ordinance safe, all right, um, they're still in the inherent danger that this thing is going to explode. <sighs> First one I've seen. Oh, man, so I can get some every now and again, you know? Get out there and see if it's uh, back still good. It's good to know if you still got it. You gotta try it out. The group working on it together, everyone being excited about it because it's a new training opportunity, and then getting out here and seeing all that work like really just go up in flames, and I do mean literally go up in flames, is uh, it's, it's very exciting. The whole intent of Korea EOD exercise is to raise the proficiency of not just the individual EOD technicians such as myself, but the, the section, the platoon, and thereby the company. We're here training for uh, the next uh, engagement. Uh, wherever that may be in the world. <laughs>